What's going on all you gamers? Today we're going over a little bit more Marvel Midnight Suns. What I'm going to bring you will be a build guide for none other than Captain America himself, showing you exactly why he's the best tank in the game, but also a whole bunch more. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. Let's come up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're jumping into Marvel Midnight Suns with a build for Captain America. What I'll be looking at is a way to make him absolutely almost indestructible, you're going to have a lot of fun, he's going to hold all of the aggro for your team and just make those battles much much easier. Now, as always if you enjoy the content and if you'd like to see more from me then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for now I'll jump into a little bit of gameplay, show you exactly what is bad. So Captain America is bar none the tankiest character in the game, he is an absolute beast. You're going to want to make sure that he's got a lot of block going on in his build, you're going to want to make sure he's doing a lot of taunting, but I'd also say he's probably the easiest character in the game to use. He's got nothing that's really too bad about him, but at first he may well be overlooked. But from the video in the background you can tell he's not only just able to kind of tank anything, he's also able to smash a lot of things health down very well, mainly through his counter attacks. He's got a few cards about him that I would say make him very possibly one of the best characters in the game. Being able to taunt everything, hold the aggro and completely regen his shield makes him second to none in the survivability department. The only one that would come close would probably be Wolverine, but he's more of a health regen build than he is going to be for his block. Right, so jumping over to the man himself, these are going to be the cards you want. They are 100% in my opinion, the best you can get. I'll chuck his legendary on the right hand side in case you want to put that on as well, but ultimately I feel these kind of surpass that, and I found that not using his legendary worked best most times, because I wanted to save those points for another hero. Shield Bash is going to be your bread and butter for doing a lot of damage and adding a vulnerable on one enemy that you're not going to be able to take down. This is going to go off of your block, so you can do quite a chunky number with it, but you're not really aiming to use this as much as most of the other cards. It's going to consume 33% of your block and deal additional damage depending on how much you've used. So usually you're hitting around about 280 points of damage on an enemy with this, plus applying vulnerable. Just down from here, you've got Dig In absolutely invaluable this is going to keep your whole team alive select an ally taunt all enemies that are targeting them and gain 370 block and gain one counter i've also modified it so that it's free so now you're going to be using this card you're going to be basically taking all of the aggro off of your teammates and just making sure you do a lot of consistent damage to the enemy with that counter attack again put that on both of these cards Hand in hand with this, you're going to want the best defense. This you're going to want to use first if you can, as it's going to give you block equal to the damage dealt for two turns. It's also going to draw two of his cards, and we've modified it to give us a counter again, meaning that once we've got this guy going, he's not going to run out of counter attack, he's going to absolutely pummel people to pieces, and every time he does it, he's also going to be getting his block back. The only time you have to worry about this character is if he's got some kind of a wound or bleeding effect going on that dwindles down his actual health. So try and put someone in your team that can heal up and cure and this guy will be the linchpin of any team. Lastly I found that chucking on two shield bounces worked absolutely amazing and then I'm going to give them both increased area of effect. Not only do these do quite a nice bit of damage to each enemy you're throwing them at, it takes out the lower health enemies and obviously it applies taunt to everything, which is what we're going for. And the icing on the cake, it applies one weak. I think that all of these together make him one of the most powerful, I was going to say Avenger, one of the most powerful heroes in the game and he allows the rest of your team to just crack on and do whatever they need to do, because everything's pretty much going to be focusing him. His passive all day, begin combat with a certain amount of block and gain a little bit of block each turn. Again, making him even more survivable. Like I said, grab him a healer with a bit of cure and this is going to make your team golden. Last but definitely not least, as soon as you can, you'll want to invest in your upgrades for your forge, get yourself some combat items. A few of these make him even more game breaking. For example, this one just here, Evil Eye Totem. Select a hero, apply two mark to all enemies that are targeting them free. You're now going to have two turns of pretty much everything on the map being marked and all you've got to do is take them out 
and have as many goes as you want in order to kind of clear the content. It's a lot of fun, you can make this completely broken and you could probably put quite a few other things on him, maybe things that apply bleed or healing and they would be able to help him out massively as well. But Evil Eye Totem is probably going to be the best one you're after and is going to make you get through anything in the game ridiculously easy. Well you gamers, hopefully that's helped a few of you out. I'll be bringing out a lot more content from this game as I'm having an absolute blast. But as always, for all the latest and greatest gaming, take care, I'll see you on the next day.